Hey folks, it's Andy with Nuthouse Industries and we're here at the 2018 Overland West Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. We're at the end of day two. Things have quieted down. Uh, we debuted a couple of new trailers here at this show. We want to do a little walk around and tell you about the things that we've changed and kind of go through the features of our Generation 2 uh, Peanut Expedition trailer. Um, we'll start right at the front end. Uh, we had an adjustable coupler before. Now we've added the option of a lunette ring, a ball coupler, or a rotational coupler for off-road use to where you get full articulation all directions. Uh, we've taken our original frame, reinforced it even more throughout the trailer to give more rigidity for the new suspension that we'll talk about a little bit later. But we'll start right up at the front and kind of work from the front to the back. Uh, our new tongue box, uh, we gave a little more aerodynamic look, tapered the corners, raked in the top. Um, we went to a new compression style latch to help seal things up. Um, we're do using ZAMP solar panels now. Uh, this is one of our smaller 45 watt panels. We also have a port on the side. You can add a second uh, portable panel to get more output. In our completely separated divided box here, we have two 20 pound propane tanks on the propane side. You can see the box is all ventilated uh, to store the propane safely. On the electrical side, we have a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, we have a dual battery setup with a single battery with the ability to add that second one. Uh, we've got the switch to control from one to the other. This has a 260 amp hour lithium battery in it. Onboard charging system, work light to help you light up the box. You see the solar control panel here. Uh, and then the shore charger all built in. Nice weather tight box. Close it away, seal everything up. Uh, lots of ventilation on that for the charging of the battery and then also again the propane side. Um, came back with our same high strength jacks that rotate up for storage, give you adjustability to stabilize the trailer and even the ability to jack up one side of the tra trailer to change a spare tire. Uh, some of the new features of the body, uh, still all aluminum construction but we're now urethane coating that. Uh, this one happens to be a color match to the Billet Silver on the uh, 2018 uh, JL that will be towing this. Uh, so we can do all kinds of color match. Uh, all of our stainless steel hardware now comes black uh, to match other hardware. Uh, we use a new door lock system to keep the door locked back so it stays where it belongs. Um, all of our doors are double pan doors now, much stronger doors, using beaded seals instead of just a flat rubber. Uh, this is the new ARB Elements Cooler. Uh, this customer requested, it's a pretty nice unit. All stainless steel outer, still a 63 quart. Uh, this style cooler can be used right in the back of an open truck um, on the ARB slide. We did extend the latch on these to make it a little more convenient to open and close that. Uh, we went with a new design fender and have multiple bends in it now just to clean those lines up. Um, this trailer features the uh, AV Pentler wheels on a matching JK pattern so it matches the exact match to the tow vehicle. They can share the spare tires. Uh, redesigned this side box and made it a little bit longer. Uh, this customer wanted the uh, water spigot kind of in built into it. Uh, we used some GSI outdoor storage boxes so a little more organized storage. Still using the uh, partner cook stoves. Uh, you can see our 110 system with the inverter power and the shore power all built in. So we come around to the back. Uh, we added a swing away tire carrier. Rides on greased bronze bushings, has a hold back. You can see the uh, barn doors. Open up. Tons of storage inside. You see, it's all lit up. Uh, this one has a climate right uh, HVAC system that'll heat and cool the uh, rooftop tent that'll eventually be installed on top by the customer. Did a road pack mount on the back, give you a little extra storage. Nice, easy action on the tire carrier. We're going to take the camera underneath now and kind of give you a shot of the underside construction. We've added recovery points 
uh, bolted right into the frame. And you can see the Timbrin independent axle suspension. Uh, these are the 3500 HD series. They have a 5200 pound outer spindle bearing assembly, 12 by 2 inch uh, drum brakes, electric drum brakes. So it's able to carry up to a 37 inch tire with ease and still be only a 3500 pound capacity axle so you get a comfortable ride out of it. Get about four inches of uh, suspension articulation. This side here we have our typical open box uh, for the onboard shower, the Ecotemp shower that uh, we're already plumbed in here with propane for it. And city water connection. We went to some quick disconnects now. Uh, you can add either a hose to it or pop in the spigot. Now these are your fills, city water. Um, this is our electric lift system on this trailer here. It's real nice to be able to lower the tent down, bring it right on down on top of the trailer so you have nice uh, fuel economy, less wind drag. Uh, you can lower it down, set the entire tent up, and then run it up. Uh, has a locking pin system so that uh, you can carry the weight on the outer structure and not on the uh, lift motors themselves. Uh, power control here for the water pump, the cabin lighting, the box. Uh, that's all built on an S-Pod uh, switch system. All fully integrated uh, with uh, relays and all your fusing built in. So you can see some of the lighting in there. Uh, you see the 50 gallons of water on board. Uh, that can be single tank, 25 gallon, or we add the dual tank on this one to get you the full 50 gallon capacity. Again, hold backs on the doors so everything stays back when you're out here trying to set up camp. Uh, of course, the rooftop tent will go on top of this when the customer in Texas takes delivery of it. Uh, they have their own tent. They'll actually open this tent from the rear and have dual awnings out either side of it. Uh, we added the L-Track tie down for him. He's got some paddle boards that will be strapping down on top of there. On this side here, you can see the shore power connection. And then this is, of course, that solar port we talked about earlier for plugging in an additional solar panel. Some of the highlights and changes are the entire framework. Um, it's about twice as thick as our previous generation trailer. We did that to accommodate the uh, independent axle. Um, it's a much heavier system. It puts more torsion on the trailer, so we beefed up everything from the tongue all the way to the back. We wanted to be able to incorporate those recovery points and make sure you could use them and make them function to recover the trailer. Um, again, these will accommodate up to a 37-inch tire, which is pretty unusual in most of these trailers. The 33 is the maximum size, but uh, we took it up a notch on the axle to make sure we can match up the current trend in 35 and 37 inch tires on most uh, off-road vehicles. We, uh, we're enjoying our time here at the show and uh, happy to show off this new model. If you have any questions, our website has lots of information. You can give us a call with questions. Uh, we can design these things to fit exactly uh, what you want to do with it, where you want to take it, and what your adventure is.